The name of the transformation is Sun Gohan Beast from the awakened beast within him. For the design, I tried giving him a scary face with blue skin, but it just didn't fit with Gohan's image, so as I often do, I ended up having his hair puffed up and standing up and gave him a sharper look. But this ended up being rather well received with people telling me this looks very cool, which made me feel grateful. Akira Toriyama interview speaking about Beast Gohan. A few months back, I remember making a video about this interview and all the new information that we found out about Dragon Ball Super Superhero because Akira Toriyama came forward and actually did a real interview with this information. And when I came across what Beast Gohan was supposed to look like, I honestly was thinking to myself, oh, he was supposed to be just basically Super Saiyan 10, but then he changed it, which to me personally, in my head, I'm thinking, that is probably a better decision. I'm glad that we came to that decision because now he looks like essentially a Super Saiyan 2 Ultra Instinct variant, but with Gohan. That's kind of what he looks like now. And the Beast Gohan transformation look has actually gradually grown on me. And I'm hoping that in the manga, we actually get some information that makes sense as to why Gohan gets this transformation. But guys, we now have an image of what this thing is supposed to look like. We have some artwork here that gives us a framework from the official Akira Toriyama details as to what this artwork, this creature was supposed to look like, guys. An artist on Twitter created a character sheet for what this creature would have looked like, and this is it. This is his interpretation of Beast Gohan and it's got everything that Akira Torama said officially of what the original transformation was supposed to look like. We have the evil monstrous face. It looks like just the removal of the brow, which is in accordance to what Toriyama's design for monsters often looks like. Then we have the white hair and the iconic blue skin, giving him a more devilish look to him. And I'll be completely honest, I think that this looks really cool as a sort of variant transformation for Beast Gohan, but to me, it doesn't look like Gohan at all. And also to me, he looks so much less intimidating because he looks like a monster. He looks more ugly, I guess is the, probably the best phrase to put it as. And this is in line with, I think, what Akira Toriyama was going for originally because if you really look at this face value, he kind of just looks like, again, Super Saiyan 10 is one character, but there are so many fan-made new transformations that fans have been creating over the years, and he honestly just looks like just another one. He looks similar to all of these, but if we look a little bit deeper, I think that we can get to what Akira Torama was trying to say. My boy Jordan Lee on Twitter wrote this. Seeing as how Toriyama had something like this in mind originally for Beast and he made sure to have him represent the demon clan in the film, Gohan Beast is very clearly a demon oni inspired which again feeds into the narrative within the framework of martial arts due to the fact you become a demon through killing intent in martial arts. What's cool about Gohan Beast though is that due to his compassion, his killing intent is being framed in a good light rather than bad. Gohan has become a warrior, not an emotional wreck disguised as one. The fact that he looks like an Oni, I mean, I didn't even put two and two together with the description originally, but look, it's identical. He looks just like it. And I really do think that is where Akira Torama was coming from when he was thinking Beast in the name. Now, another creator on Twitter, an artist named Kakeru, who I've showcased on the channel before, also made his own rendition of what this looks like, and this is far more detailed and looks more in line with the original Beast Gohan, with a few additions, and the one that strikes me the most is the tail. The reintroduction of the tail, to me, makes complete sense because of the demon beast nature of this transformation. The other difference with this and the original artwork is that his hair is more like the Beast Gohan that we originally got. It is ginormous, he's got the huge bang, and it just fits a lot better. He's also far more stocky. His arms are huge, and he still has that iconic demon look to him, that Oni look. 
And to me, I think this one looks so much better, not only than the original artwork, but I'll be honest, it looks better than the original Beast Gohan that we got. That's my interpretation of what Beast Gohan used to originally used to look like. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys think is better. Do you guys prefer this or the Beast Gohan that we got? This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys. Subscribe for more content.